one directly in front of us was just born this morning. It's calving season at Jens Jorgensen's farm near Wildwood, Alberta. It's also wildfire season. Didn't matter what direction we looked, you could see smoke and fire. About this time last year, Wildwood was under an evacuation order. As the flames drew closer, Jorgensen and his wife wanted to leave, but feared they wouldn't be allowed back to tend to their animals. During that time, the power went out. Without power, there's no water. So our animals, if without us, would have had no, no water, no feed. We would have, I know we would have lost animals. So we said, no, we're, we're not gonna take that chance. The wind was blowing and it just brought the fire over the river this way and continued down the path uh, over here to the Ridgeview campground. Farmers weren't the only ones defying evacuation orders. Wildfire ripped through this campground near Edson last year. The town itself was spared, but was evacuated twice for fire and a third time for flooding. Some people did decide to stay at home for whatever reason. In the years since, Mayor Kevin Zahara has spoken with people who refused to leave. They just didn't feel like it was uh, the right opportunity for them to leave at that point in time. He says some residents didn't know about transportation and other supports available. That'll be addressed if there's another evacuation this year. When people refuse to leave their properties during an evacuation order, it puts first responders in a difficult position. Safety is the priority. We're trying to keep you safe. If wildfire danger is imminent, officers have authority to remove children. There's more discretion when it comes to adults on their own property, but RCMP warned that the consequences of refusing to leave can be dire. You don't want to comply. If you're a grown adult, you want to take care of it, good. Just make sure we have ways to contact your family and ways to identify you. A provincial spokesperson says Albertans should follow official sources for information about evacuation orders. Jorgensen wants authorities to come up with a separate plan for farmers who need to care for their livestock. In the meantime, he's retrofitting this crop sprayer to be used for firefighting. Nobody's going to protect our property once we're gone. And I can do everything in my power to protect it if I stay. He's prepared to defy evacuation orders again, but hopes he won't need to. Paige Parsons, CBC News, Yellowhead County.